Okay, welcome everybody to Chaos Africa meeting. I don't know, did I was I in the last one? It seems like I wasn't there. I wasn't in the last one, right? Yes, you were. Uh, okay, I was. We were okay. talking about um what um healthy drink do we usually have? Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I, I think maybe if you can pin that um document where you I think there was a time where you had this document where you created all those uh questions because I think anytime I facilitate, I always do not add all those questions you put. So okay, okay. I'll I'll pin it on the template. That would be great so that I can always add them. Okay, so welcome again. Like I said, if you are, please add your name. And next time I would do well to put the icebreaker question. Mm, I don't think there are any new former. I see a former. I don't know. I don't think I've met a former before. Hi, former. Are you? Yeah. Sorry, I'm not new. My full name is Sylvia. Don't mind me. Apologies okay. for that. No, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> that's that's okay. That's fine. Um, welcome everybody. Um, so I think we can do a round a round the table updates from the different focus groups. Um, uh, maybe starting with developers, like what's happening, um, like and then designers. Uh, okay. Okay, can I go ahead? Yeah, yeah, you can start. Okay, hello everyone. It's good to be here again to see everyone. Okay, so a quick one on what we've been doing at the developers focus group. It's been um some lovely two weeks of um activity, very good activities in the focus group. So um last week we had a workshop and um, actually the goal of that workshop is to help us do two things and that is to improve the quality of contributions that we have at chaos and also to help um, reduce maintainer workload because we realize that uh, when people uh, make quality contributions that is you know well communicated when well dis detailed then the maintainers have to do lesser work to uh, to to match prs and uh, make sure that the prs um do not have conflict with the main branch and so in order to to address all of that we had we had the workshop and they plan to also have series of training in the future and so last week the the title of um the the theme of the workshop was um uh how to get your tips on how to get your PR matched smoothly and uh, we had people around and it went great so you can find the recording on chaos YouTube channel number two is that um we if you check out our repositories now you see that most of our pull requests have been matched because we talked about clearing up some of the pull requests so that we can then begin to see the issues that remain and then get people to work on them. And thanks to Hinoch, you know, Hinoch um, really sat on those pull requests and made sure that most of them were matched. So you can check if your own has been matched also. All right, uh, next week we'll be having uh, another workshop and we'll be discussing how to prevent and resolve conflict when creating peer. And that is going to be taken by this month, busy. So um, the workshop is going to be for developers and technical writers. If you've been following what has been going on in both channels, you see that we are trying to bring the two groups together. And the reason is because um, we noticed that um, in order to ensure that um, there is a smooth collaboration. We just feel that it's good for the tech writers to understand what is, is even going on in the repositories when they have an understanding of what the budget was, the project budget, the budget event is all about. You know, it will be easier to then say they want to write um, any communication material or documentation on these repositories. So the workshop for next week and other series of um, workshops 
that will even be targeted towards documentation. If you know, Agbara is going to be part of our facilitators, we'll be targeted towards both focus groups um, to help us to make quality contributions. So that's, that's it for now. Um, before I go, I, I just want to say one thing. Um, I, one way in which our developers or even technical writers can help right now is to visit the issues we have on the Bajin API and Bajin website to help edit these issues to follow the templates that we have created in order to just ensure that they are more descriptive and then we can move on as quickly as possible. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much. Um, this is awesome work. Sorry, I'm just trying to take the notes. Um, if you can also just add links to some of the things that like the recording and also the where they can check for the issues, that would be great. I really okay. like how um like thank you so much, I think uh, as well. Like you're doing really good work, like trying to revive these two um two groups, like the developer group and the technical writing group. And I um, I love to see the work that you, you all are doing. Um, the question I have, or the kind of maybe feedback I have, is Enoch is here. Enoch has not attended these meetings in in ages. Yeah, the minutes. <laughs> but yeah, um, so like, oh, the suggestion I have is um, these work these workshops that you're you're running is really really like the topics are really quality. I like them. I was hoping maybe. Can we open it up to like the public or right? the in not just like we can have like maybe a zoom? I can set up like chaos has a, a paid zoom, so we can set up like a registration page, um, announce it like on our social, and then people can register for it. And you know, zoom zoom kind of like handles all that, um, all the automations you just send them like everything that they need to join the event to so their email that they used to register right so so that other people can join the meetings like people that are not even in our community because i feel like these um, workshops are really 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 important and i like the topics they they target with really the things that people can miss out when they start contributing to open source so i don't know if that's something that we can do i don't know which what in what capacity that the workshop are held this is something that if there are a lot of people is going to make it hard for you to run the workshops like it's something that we can do hmm. okay so um originally you know we actually targeted our own developers and so all of our context is always with regards to the budget repo the budget api you know to just help chaos contributors now, what I'm thinking, if we now decide to open it up, how is, oh, we are not going to be duplicating the um, education channel, the education um, program that is spearheaded by Peculiar, because that, that was raised. Mm, are you sure. saying something? Hey, no, 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 I was like echoing what you're saying. Like, I think yeah. I didn't, I didn't think about it from that point, because if we, but for the education part, I think they are like videos that are going to be created. They are not like sessions, are they? Or did they change like the way it will work? I know I've mm -hmm. not been so. Mm -hmm. So I, um, actually, I I don't have the entire picture yet. What I plan to do is to speak with Peculiar to see how because okay. I I know that we need to um collaborate, especially when it comes to the workshop. The original intent of this was just to help our own contributors. So I'm thinking probably we should stay with our contributors for now. Try to um okay. then um try to see how we can work with um peculiar and if we now okay peculiar is trying to say something. Um, please go ahead. Okay. Um. Hi everyone. So uh, when that was mentioned, we were like, we're going to create like, um, let's say a folder for this and everything about uh, the videos that are coming from the developers are just in like a one folder. 
So um, people can easily go there and then be able to follow like that folder and see everything, how to navigate, how to send a pull request, how to create issue, all of that in like one folder. So that's what we discussed. So, but we're saying it's not going to be like the whole uh, long, too long uh, video, you know, it's just going to be summary that can point someone to the next one. That was what we discussed earlier. Mm, so that means, that means it's going to be like a detail. Like for example, they have a workshop now. It will be edited to make it shorter, and then it will have a full. Yeah. So, so also another follow up question is that means like if they they talk about a particular topic of pull request, it's not going to it does it in any way like clash with your own like topics like. No. It doesn't. No. No, it doesn't like such we don't have. But if you have a topic that uh like what we do that have we already if they have a topic that we already have, what we do is to use what we already have. Like there's some topic we have uh we are not recording at the moment because there's a video already that has already covered our topic. So what we do just to use the video that has already covered that topic. Okay. Oh, okay. Please, can I ask a question? Please, can I? Okay. Uh, yeah. Yes. So, so peculiar. Um, I I know that um the education program has been on for a while, but you know there's there are so many things that we try to follow. So I'm just trying to grasp um the entirety right now. But the question I have is that um, who are your target audience for the education program? Is it just um the members of the chaos community or we want to throw it out to anyone outside there who are open to be contributors and all? Okay, so uh, target audience are not just only chaos. Like we already like having a discussion on uh, another level about uh, education pro. Uh, project so uh, it's not just only those coming into chaos that's why we are grouping the the videos the topics okay there are some that are going to be just about chaos there are some that are just going to be about all we're doing in chaos but there are some that are just going to be a general stuff that everybody or that's a contributor or just someone interested in open source can just come in look at those videos and that helps the person to nav navigate any project at all that is an uh, open source project or any community that is just an open source community. So it's okay. for new people, uh, already existing people that want to learn more about something and for other everyone here. Okay. So yeah. so now to now answer Ruth's question, if we now decide to have an open workshop where everybody is welcome apart from the uh, members of the chaos community, does that kind of section um uh, the recording of such session does it work for you also? It works for us because the point is this when we are making things available, right? It's it's available for anyone can just go through it, understand it, and that will help the person to come into to come uh, join cures because the person can easily watch your videos and then be able to navigate through our project, and that's we really like publicity for to get more people into contributing to a cures project, and then that also can help such individual to learn how to contribute to other open source projects. Because one thing is that different open source uh, projects track different things. And what I learned from here, I can also use it like in other mm -hmm. community mm -hmm. projects. Yeah. Okay. okay. Maybe that helps. It does that kind of uh, help? Yes. Us? So it, it helps. So your, your okay. Sorry. Sorry. Valid. Your concern is valid. And another angle I want to look at it from like, if there's a lot 
because you know when we publicly publicize stuff we get a lot of like um, feed like people try to join in so the way you have like for example when you did the first one i'm sure it was like a small circle is it going to be too overwhelming for for like if you have a bigger a bigger group of people right we can always share the recording out right with like the public but if it's going to be overwhelming like you also have to look at it from that point um as well mm -hmm. okay so what i just now realize is that it's just the context that matters now so instead of just concentrating on badging we could just then now throw it open to like a general repository that does not have so much to do with the chaos community do you understand mm -hmm. what i'm saying so yeah, all okay. I just have might, to do, okay. Yeah, you might I'm lose out, like you might lose out that intentionality for the developer mm -hmm. of Africa, and I, that that's not a trade off. Like it's not a trade off that I think we should do, because like no. so, the goal is to revive that group, right? It's not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I I think that maybe let's keep it in the meantime. Let's keep it on that. And I think like like um, Peculiar said that we will they would edit it and like you know, so when they edit it, when when they when the recordings are out, right? The edited recordings are out, um, Oluchi can pick them up and share them. And then when people come in through that channel, um, we they can ask more questions. But I think just put it in the pipeline somewhere that maybe you can host one that is general but for now i think the goal is around reviving the group right and making sure that people know what they are expected to do and so let's keep it within that uh, smaller group first and then we can always like uh, yes that's that, that's okay okay um i think uh, do you is that good okay i think hamza you had your hand raised i don't know if you were uh, going to add to the conversation yeah uh peculiar always cl uh, also clarify the point that i'm going to highlight which is like okay fine um i really sided with you roots regarding the uh, uh reaching out to the general public regarding the kind of workshop that we are doing here internally because those workshops are really really amazing and i know a lot of sort of people that this kind of workshop they will benefit from so I see nothing bad when we open it to the general public. But in other side, because this workshop was tailored towards uh, the chaos contributors, I think we can, let's say, time to time or quarterly, every quarter of the year, then we can organize a workshop around this and invite some experts in the space to talk about it. How do you see it? I yield mm -hmm. the mic. Yeah, I think I I do agree. Like time to time, we should always should do the ones that, and then even as we are doing these sessions, um, I think some contributors they begin to pick up, and then they can even do these sessions, right? Just to um give other people space to also contribute. Okay, so um, so I'll just put here that we'll open it up. We will gradually um schedule. Um, general ones. Okay. So thank you very much, Adin. Um, and if you're a developer here, you should definitely um check out those sessions and uh, be part of that group. And if you have any feedback for Adin or for Enoch, you can always let them know. Um, so I'm just going to this one. We already maybe we can, designers. I think um Kinsley is here. Maybe you want to share. Um, what's been happening? People did a, an excellent demo on Tuesday. I don't know what else you want to share, but <laughs> yeah, you can go ahead. Yeah, you're right. We don't have anything to share. Oh my <laughs> Hello, goodness. everyone. Hello, everyone. was on that meeting, please. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Um, yeah, thank you so much, Ruth, for the feedback. Um, yeah. Yeah, technically we don't have anything to share. So um, but then um just also uh, mention that in case you also have designers, yeah, right, that are interested in contributing, um, is that we still have the Alphos project ongoing. We have the um brand style projects 
ongoing um that's gonna cover things around our visuals and all that still ongoing i think as of this morning i had a little chat with um um the brand identity guy working um felix not the felix not the one on this call <laughs> another felix so um yeah so all good projects you know headed by lami you know is ongoing and um maybe some of the little fixes um uh, requests a uh, design request that was made um uh, th those requests were fixed but that's for project badging all right but i'm not sure it's been implemented though so last i checked that badging website in office here I i'm not sure the design changes you know that was asked for was updated so um maybe that's for the dev to figure out but yeah so uh, that's pretty much what's been happening and we've been having uh bi-weekly calls you know and um we're just getting more and more designers to still joining in so everything is also really working towards you know you know getting the working group more active and a lot of more designers being involved right and owning their design processes right so I think we are really at that level right now. So we're getting a lot of people coming in. It's really beautiful because um why I mentioned that it's actually really cool because um for someone like Emmanuel that came in and then um um saw that yeah we've been working on a whole lot and then that uh, we really needed to have uh, a consolidate on our design system and stuff. So he's actually, you know, just pushing the initiative and then owning the whole thing and trying to do stuff around that, you know, in synergy with um me and um, Alami and Paul. So, yeah, so I, I think so far that's all that's been going on. And if you're a designer, yeah, please don't sit on the fence. You can join us and try to create a magic too. Thank you, everyone. Awesome. Thank you so much, Kinsey. And just even echoing, like Kinsey saying that the group is getting um a lot of contributors. I'm really like so, so proud of the work that we're doing here. Um, it's been, I think, um, this next month will make it about uh, two years that we started the community and we can I can list a lot of projects and a lot of like impacts that has been going on here. So I'm like excited and I'm grateful to everyone that has been contributing and I hope like it has been also impacting you personally as um an individual in your career too. So thank you so much. Um as Kinsley well, as you're speaking, Kinsley, I thought of something and I don't think Oluchi is here. So I think right now we have a lot of projects here and there and some people are still like when I see some people, I mean sometimes even the outside facing audience, sometimes they are still lost on like what contributions, what con projects does this community have? So I was wondering if maybe somebody from your team, Kinsley, and even from developers, right, can work with Oluchi to give her, maybe we can do like a thread of like, these are, if I design now, these are all the projects that happen in chaos that you can participate in, right? If you're a developer, these are all the projects that happen, just like a very, uh, each a long thread of like how people can actually like the projects that are going on that the skill sets that is needed um that they can participate in and then we just pin it and maybe at the end of the thread we put our slack channel and then we just pin it on our social media so that as people come to the as people come to the profile they are seeing like this is the thread of things that are currently going on and we can keep updating it maybe quarterly or something just to get people. Um, so maybe if at, at their point of contact that you can work with all the G, I can me message her later and let her know that this is what we discussed in the group. Um, can say you can you work with her or somebody can work with her to do that. Yeah, yeah, I I think um um I can work with so. Okay. Uh, that out. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to put six there. Social media. Does anybody have any questions for Kinsley? I think how about you? Who can work with say or would you to just help out? So 
So um, I will get back to you. Oh, either me, you know, keep your standing for um, this one for now. Okay. I will also message her myself to. You know, I've been quiet on this meeting. Why? You no, know, say something. Because um, uh, I, I do not have any significant contribution to address. <laughs> I'm I'm mostly trying to get updated about what has been happening throughout the meetings and chaos since it's been long that I've been on these calls. So I'm listening. A lot in of and... cobwebs for you to clear. Yeah, yeah. I think you remember <laughs> what chaos means. <laughs> yeah, sure. But um, uh, not a lot has changed, but I'm thinking this week will be enough for me to really um, have my creep around a lot of things. Otherwise, good work to you guys, uh, the devs and designers. Plus, all I'm I'm proud of the Africans on the Chaos team. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. So I was hoping. I don't know. You know why did it change the name? <laughs> You'll change? be surprised. I have a digital footprint and a legal name, so <laughs> as, in, as how this building and it's always very confusing to me. Okay. Yeah. But if you look for my 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 legal name on the internet, you'll not get it. So the one on the internet is illegal. Same. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, great. So, um, I think I was okay. My blessings are here, um, uh, or maybe there's. I think I saw something about the which um the ambassador program. I was hoping that she could share insights to that. Um, or peculiar. Do you have any context around it? Um, oh, I don't know. Better blessing would be the right position to do that. Okay, okay, so let's just skip it uh, for today. Yeah. Um, so, so, yeah, I put research here. Um, I, and I'll put Lamy on the spot now. Uh, Lamy had reached out to me to kind of like uh, revive this group a bit, like to revive this group. So, maybe Lamy, if are you available to talk, I can give that yes. update. Okay, great, thank you. Okay, um, so when we started. Um, in Chaos Africa, we had the research focus group, um, but we've not been doing a lot um, after we stopped activities a few, maybe over a year ago even. So I reached out to Ruth and I've been, it's been on my mind since, but I didn't have like any concrete ideas on what to do. So um, she gave her insights and then we um, arrived at four things that could be done. And the first is to collaborate with um, existing um, research organizations. She mentioned one, um, Sonar Type, and we are going to pursue that to see what they are doing and how Chaos can collaborate with them. And then secondly, within Chaos, um, Chaos already does like surveys to check in with community members. This is something that the research focus group can take up and maybe um, have service like that more consistently and maybe have like a variation of service like that. So the first idea for a survey that um, I'm thinking could be good is to, and I think yeah, Ruth also suggested this, is to just ask Chaos members about any bottlenecks they are facing. I'm thinking in regards to contribution, why maybe if someone, hasn't contributed for a while what's stopping them from contributing and um, with that we can derive insights on how we can maybe help um, community members who have not done um who have not been active for a while we can help them find um their feet again to start contributing and then the third one is to um, take note of outdated resources and information in chaos um and we can um get we can find this if we like just scroll through chaos materials on GitHub, Slack, um, and other maybe the website too, just to see um things that have been posted 
um, maybe things that might need um, uh, interventions to move forward. And then by doing that, we can note ways to um, um, no ways for contributors to make those things better. And then the last one is pretty closely related to the design um, team. So um, after um, a website, like when, you, when someone designs a, a, a product, it's always good to do some user testing or usability testing. I think this is something that the research group can also collaborate with the design team with to ensure that the website is well-designed, that existing users will go um, and even AFOS, but Ogo specifically, since it's already an existing product, that when we have like the new websites, it's only too difficult for them to use, and we're actually solving the problems that they need that that if that they're they're facing rather. So yeah, um, those are like the four starting points that we identified, and then um, I made notes of some next steps on how we can get those four things started. And the first one is to um, update the research focus group notes. I've done that. Maybe I can share the link here. Um. Yeah. Then if you go, there's like an outline at the side. So if you click reviving research at Chaos Africa, you see the notes. And then um, another thing is to create um questions to check in on chaos members um so for this one i want to see like the previous service that chaos has done so that we can like i can just like have an idea on like what would be expected when creating questions then get started with sweeping chaos materials this just means going through slack going through github just seeing what um, is being done on Chaos and um, getting insights on what maybe can be done to move projects that have been paused forward. And then um, in relation to collaborating with existing organizations, we can source more open source research bodies that we can potentially partner with. So, yeah. And then um, we can learn about, sorry, this was, this one. We can learn about them and then join them if there's like an opportunity there. So that's all for me. Thank you so much, Sami. This was really good. Um, and I was excited that you reached out about it. Um, so there are a couple of things that say uh, after you know my chat with you, I had thought about as well. Um, so as regards so for the first one, um, collaborating with existing research organizations, I spoke to Matt, um, about this one at time because initially he had talked about it during I think either the DI working group meeting or the general meeting, and some people indicated interest. So he said that once um we have a call with the sonar type, um, folks that um I can mention it again, and then I think it's a it's a end like it's a because it's a research, um, you know, it's an, there's an NDA, so then I can recommend that he reaches out to you, so he reach out to you. Um, so in it, the, the goal here is people from, like, this group or from Chaos Africa can contribute to, like, you know, participate in, like, research, because a couple of times research organizations reach out to Chaos because, you know, we do metrics and stuff, so if people have these skills here, we can also, they can also contribute through that route, um, right? So um then another there's this um Eclipse Foundation is also doing a survey. I'm going to reach out. I have a, a an action item to reach out to him today. Um and then we can collaborate. I would CC you in that email, Lamy, so that um you would be aware of the conversation. Um so we can collaborate on their they're doing like a research on open source in Africa, I think. Um and even just even giving context on why we decided because we initially when we started the group, we had run a survey, but now that's outdated because like that's like two years ago. So that's why we decided not to go forward with that one. So um I would reach out. This sonar type one is more individual related, but I think that one from Eclipse Foundation um will have more um like will be more collaborative in the sense like 
people, more people can get involved and different ways to get involved, taking the survey or even distributing it, um, you know, for other people to take the survey, reminding people to take it. Um, and then um, for the chaos general survey, um, I will I will also connect you with Elizabeth so that we can get one started. I know we did the last time we did one was like last year, so we definitely need to do another one this year, and then we can do other like check ins. Maybe we can coordinate how we can do the check ins with people and get their because we've been doing a lot with trying to um smoothing our onboarding process. So definitely we should get to know how it's helping. Another thing I wanted to point out is Chaos has a a, a Grimoire Lab instance. Um, let me see if for any reason the link will pop up. Chaos. Uh, 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 let me see if it will work. So Chaos has a Grimoire Lab instance, and this has a lot of in insightful data that. Chaos, I think chaos is really missing out on, and like there are a lot of potentials that we could do is like to visualize a lot of things here. It's similar to the way Orgo works, but I think um this has a lot more insights to Orgo, right? You can even from here, you can really even see, you can really see what is going on around different repositories. Let me just show you something. So now this is badging, right? This is badging, the badging org. You can see the people that are contributing to badging. There are a lot of insights that you can get from here. I, to some extent, I know how to do this. I know how to use it because I worked with Biteja. So, but, um, this... but isn't it the same data Ogo is showing, displaying? Just yeah, it's, they all pull from GitHub, but like there are different functionalities with Grimoire Lab and Augur. So I think I, I haven't like really dived into Augur, but like with Grimoire Lab, it gives you there are lots more metrics and a lot more dashboards in a sense. Um, I, I don't know the latest update of Augur. Um, I don't even know if Chaos has an instance in Augur yet. I don't know. I, I'm I'm quite not sure about that. But here too is another way. We could also use Augur as well to do this. But I wanted to point you to this because this gives like a lot of insights on like, um, for example, if you want to check contributor growth. So these are things that the community might uh, can see who are contributing, how many pull requests, the contributors who are co like people that are contributing to. Uh, issues the contributors that are contributing to pull, through pull requests like a lot of things a lot of insights so this is a very this is a tool that the research that will be very beneficial to the research team i'm just going to copy it and paste it in the notes so let me just take note of this as well um then Yes, yeah, so um, then also the last thing I want to talk about is the usability testing. It kind of like connects with um, the uh, accessibility audits that has been happening. I see some connections there. So maybe if you could reach out to Victoria or I think uh, Giga so that you see how we can, you know, uh, not, the, not just the usability testing, but the outdated resources and information, that part kind of connected to this with the audit work so that's also some place that um you can align efforts together so yeah so those are the things that i had to talk about um yes i think that you had your hand up yes um so on tuesday when we were given updates from chaos africa and i talked about what we were doing at the developers repository um, someone raised this um, this question that are we tracking the metrics, you know, to ascertain that all the things we are doing, you know, creating so issue templates. Mm -hmm. Sorry? Oh, Sophia. Creating yes. issue. Okay, okay, Sophia, yeah. Creating issue and PR templates, you know, doing workshop and all of that are... Uh, to be able to track the impact we have, we have made so far. And, uh, you know, I had to let them know that this thing just started. So we will do well to track um the impact that is making. So uh, now that we have the the research focus group um 
being revived now. I was thinking maybe um that's something that mm. the group can help us do. Like, okay, so help us track the metrics of, uh, okay, this is how long it takes um contribute or it took contributors in the past to maybe mm -hmm. make um contributions from start to finish. But now that we have the issue template, now that we have maybe a well-detailed contributed of MD, um, mm. now what time does it take to match PRs? What time does it take to do all of the things that we need to get done? So that at the end of the day, we can actually come up with a short report on how um, all of these processes has helped impacted um, quality of contributions in the community. And I yeah. think the same thing, we also go for education. Mm -hmm. That's a very good idea, like solid idea. Cause like that, this instance has just been there, honestly, like sometimes I want to use it, but I always forget. Like there are a lot of things you could see, like you can even see where the contributions are coming from. Don't have a lot of time, but I could have shown that uh, who are the contributors, where are they coming from, or like their actual GitHub. Like, okay, see, you see, this is enough taking all the the top auto here, right? With a lot of added lines. Hmm. Interesting. This is all on the designers. Yeah, we can see Akintola Ramat. You can see I'm seeing Ibimila Hart. You see, there are, there are African names here, and these are just the top 10 authors, right? You can always like increase the timeline for this, and you see more people that have been contributing. You can check, see, I think I see last attracted developers, Adinka, Ogo Nelson. So, yeah, you see how, how insightful Jacob Isaac is here. So, you see how insightful this can be. So, Yes, I agree. I can also see if we can have like somebody from Grimoire Lab to actually do like a proper, I, I could do this, but God help me that my developer knowledge has not left me. But yeah, like to do a proper, um, you know, insights on like how to use this dashboard. We can have a session like that, right? So I, I do agree, Adinka. Okay, any more thoughts and feedback about the research? Um, do we want to, I know the meetings, adding another meeting, do we want, how do you want to like move forward with like meetings? Um, I, I know you're also connected with the design group, right? I don't want to put a lot of things on your plate, but maybe when you have like some things figured out, if there will be a meeting or anything, just let me know. Um, yes, I think maybe uh okay something that comes to mind immediately is to have like a concrete idea on how everything would go first so, yeah. so we have like new things added the um connecting with victoria and Iga from accessibility and connecting with adenka concerning the um the impact of the research and the contribution templates so i think um those are like um big things on their own so we need to figure out how those things would work first and then um, meetings can start so um i guess um if anybody wants to like join the research focus group they the can channel there yes it's still there great okay awesome thank you so much this is very so by the next meeting i think we'll have like more concrete feedback on how to proceed okay great thank you very much um lami so yes yeah, so let's go to the next uh, does anybody have any questions or feedback before we go to the next item um okay so that's fine um so the next thing is the outreach events um brian do you want to talk about this and give us like updates on what's happening there yeah sure please someone confirm they can hear me you know yeah we can hear you okay yeah so it's been a minute since I joined these meetings too, and I know maybe 
we might not have been sharing all the updates, but the update so far is we managed to secure a partner that is project enable, which is going to give us like a venue, but we are still in talks with them together with Victoria, Winnie and Peculiar. And we are currently looking at ways in which you as Chaos Africa community members can also participate in the event. So you can join us if you want to volunteer. Also, you can join us if you also want to be part of the planning. Feel free to shoot me or Victoria or Winnie or Ruth a DM and we can have you on board. We are also looking at having a blog published after the event just to document the impact that the event has had and our our like our dedication into having persons with disabilities part of our community so if you're part of the technical writing team you can always ping me and we can start on ways we can work on ways on how we can do that but at the moment we have a date which is next month but we'll be sharing more updates you, you probably have seen a post on chaos africa socials about the event so we also want you to help us share the event with your maybe community members in your local area community and anyone who is someone with disabilities that has tech skills and you feel like this is an event that will be impactful to them please 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 share the event did anybody stop hearing can you guys yeah. hear me I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I think I, I thought I mistakenly ended the meeting. <laughs> so I just hit one button. I think Brian cut off for a minute. Uh, but I, I maybe think Victoria that, can. Yeah, maybe Victoria can help him out. Um, can you guys hear me? Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay, so um, we... Like he said, we already put out the design and we need you to help us for more publicity. We have actually reached out to the community who will be directly working with for this program. But we still need um, more people to know about it. And it would be great if um, more people who are not in the community can attend as well. We are already working on um, the activities that are going to go on the um, the events and every other thing. We're currently working on it. We will finalize when we meet um we meet with the team again and we'll give feedback on that. So far, publicity has started. Um, um, concluded with or we are still in um communication with Project Enable to get things in order. I think that's basically the summary since we've been giving like feedback, um, feedback so far from our activities. Hi. Oh, he's back. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hi, Brian. <laughs> I'm so sorry, everyone. I'm so sorry. We are never beating delegations. Right, 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 never. I, I think so. But yeah, um, thank you everyone, um, for working on that. Um, hopefully, like the events goes on well. Uh, okay. Go on. is trying to say something. Yeah. Like the network. Yes. Okay, I think I, I shall. Okay, I think that's sorted. Um, but yeah, so thank you everyone that is working on that um um project. Um, everything hopefully everything goes on smoothly. We keep like um giving updates but I, I said i was going to open a channel on the last meeting but i actually forgot so that people can just can just convert to that dmt channel um and then people can always see what's happening i'll create that channel just right now um let me see what are we going to call the channel now 
Brian, just give me a suggestion of what's called channel in my DM, and then I'll just create the channel. Um, so that's it for that event. Does anybody have any questions or any feedback or any clarifications? Okay. Yeah. Okay, I don't see anyone. Okay. Um, and then we're almost far gone. Um, so the last thing I think, um, Kennedy, do you want to talk? So we are going to be partnering with um Python Bootcamp in Kennedy is organizing a Python Bootcamp in Calabar to get people started get started in Python and open source. Um, so I don't know if Kennedy are you available to speak and just you know, in maybe two minutes, just talk about what the program is and maybe how Chaos Africa members can also maybe volunteer. Okay, uh, thank you, Ruth. Good day, everyone. Uh, I hope I'm already good yes. enough. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the Python Bootcamp uh, is a physical uh, bootcamp on 45 physical days, um, three days a week. You know, at a hub space in Calabar, and uh, you know, one virtual session, um, like a re recap or hangout session every week. Um, so we are going to be working. We are going to be learning physically, but of course, you know, we we'll make use of collaboration tools. You know, from platforms such as GitHub. So we we'll have assignments submitted there, and you know, the resources and all of that. So I'm looking for. Um, I'm hoping that I can get like technical mentors in the chaos community um, who can you know, review the um, who can review code you know, assignments and stuff and also help us into like the overall structure of the, the program. So I think that's it. So the program is starting. Um, sorry. The program is starting on the uh, 24th of this month, May, yes. And uh, it's, it's running for three months. So, yeah, we're kind of using the 100 days of uh, code um, model, yes. So, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Kennedy, and for that initiative as well. Just like get people interested, um, that interested in tech to learn using Python. So if anybody's interested in mentoring, you can reach out to Kennedy. I think he has the same name on the uh, Slack. Um, so you can reach out to him and let him know um if you're interested, or we'll also be publicizing it on our on our platform, so like on our Twitter. So if you know people that are in Calabar that are interested in it, you can also send them to apply. So yeah, thank you so much, Kennedy. Um, The last two things on the agenda really very quickly. Oscar is hosting Sustain Africa next month Um, and it's usually invite only. Or if you're interested in attending, if you're in Lagos, so it's going to be in Lagos. If you're in Lagos um, or if you can get yourself to Lagos, Right, if you're interested in attending, you can please send me a DM with your email address, um, so that we can uh, invite you for the Sustain Africa is on context on what it is. It's a, it's a conversation about uh, it's a group that we do conversations about sustaining open source in Africa. What's what state what is the open source? How can we do better? Uh, in the African ecosystem. So we have that closed ended conversations for some people that have been part of Sustain. Um, they know how it usually goes on. But if you're interested, please send me a DM with your email address um, and I will uh, we'll forward an invite from Oscar's end. Um, and then the last thing I wanted to mention is um, travel funding for Open Source Summit Europe is still open. So Open Source Summit Europe is going to happen in Austria this year, and they usually have like travel funding, so people can apply for travel funding to attend um the event. So if you, I'm trying to find the link. Open Source Summit. Let me try to get the link. Yes, Open Source Summit Europe. 
yes and so this is the event i was talking about so if this is the travel funding link so if we scroll down here apply for travel funding this is where you click on to apply for travel funding so you can apply for travel funding to attend the event so i just wanted to highlight that so yeah that's the only thing we have one more minute does anybody have any questions or anything any feedback any topic that we did not discuss we can move it to next week or to next two weeks rather nothing nothing okay going hi Ruth. Okay. Did I share the link um yeah it's on the let me share it on the charts okay yes so it's also on the notes but yeah thank you to everybody that joined um and i'll see you all next two weeks keep contributing and uh, if you have any questions you can always ask on the channel and take care bye thanks bye everyone